A big hairy hello from me, Baboon King, and today in Minecraft Feeder Beast Infinity Evolved, you might have noticed something different. That's right, I've got a new skin, baby. Oh yeah, I've made it myself. Uh, I'm still working on the kinks, you know. <laughs> uh, Shay did tell me it looks kind of still like Steve, so unfortunately, yeah, that's the thing. But I got cool headsets, that's really cool. And it looks exactly like my headsets I'm wearing right now, which is pretty cool. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Anyways, so today's episode, we are going to do some jetpacks. That is right, we're going to do some jetpacks, which is pretty cool. And we can finally start flying around. I made myself a glider as well to get around quickly. Made a little farm over there just to get some wheat and stuff growing. Wheat growing. And I use that to feed the sheep over there so they can populate and can share them, use them for meat, whatever. Like, yeah, whatever. And I've been doing a lot of work on the base over here as well. And before we get to, yeah, that's actually what I want to say. Before we get to the jetpacks. Oh, brain fart. Oh, forgive me. That that block should not be there. I just noticed that. That should not be there. And that's missing blocks there as well. Ah, there's so much work to do. <sighs> but anyways, before we get to the jetpacks, I would quickly want to show you guys a little tour of the base. Because, you know, last time. Anyways, uh... Yeah, I made these, oh, I found these guys while killing mobs, the zombie and the creeper. I got the heads for it because of this sword, which was an obsidian broadsword. And I can show you guys over here. It has sharpness, diamond, lapis, and that's pretty cool. It's a really, really great sword to start out with. So, yeah. And also made this nice little entrance. Just put a couple of blocks like that over there and extended up all the pillars. And the marble is going to be folded up in there. I just enclosed the roof because every time it rains, it's really freaking annoying. So, yeah. Anyways, let's go in. I did set down some couple of water wheels. I know there's a more efficient way of doing this. Like the water source blocks, different places. I think over here and over here. Then this thing would turn even faster and generate more power. And I coupled these with the uh, LV wires and LV wire connectors. All the way over here and all, all the way over here and I connected them to two energy leadstone energy cells which are powering up and they are really full for a long time now so I needed those to make the energetic infuser so we can charge our jetpack and over here is a pulverizer I needed to use that to pulverize coal to get charcoal no 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 charcoal stupid it is sulfur yeah to create sulfur and yeah so down here, I made this little hole with stairs, looking, made it look nice and everything. These torches are going to go. I just need to go to the end, or not the end, the nether, so that we can get some glowstone, put some glowstone strips and stuff in here, just to lighten up the mood. I mean, it's really ugly and dark. But anyways, down here, you guys can let me know in the comment section down below what can we do with this place. I really want to get rid of this quarry over here, and I don't know how I'm going to fill this in at all. Yeah, I have no idea. But anyways, I want to get rid of the quarry and use this maybe for big reactors or, I don't know, some kind of power generation and maybe some storage down here or sorting system. I don't know. I have no idea. You guys can let me know what, what should I do down here. Anyways, let's go up here and coke oven and the smeltery we all saw. I've been doing a lot of work collecting lapis and iron ingots and all the well, over, over here is a bunch of ores i still need to go go through the process and everything here's the marble for all the gaps over there there's probably a lot more marble needed than that but yeah we got two stacks of diamonds which is pretty cool bunch of quartz and lots and lots of iron there's still some iron to go through a lot of redstone and <clears throat> Excuse me. The only thing about it is the lapis. I'm having a hard time finding lapis, but that, that's fine. No problem over there. And so we're starting back up. Okay. And uh, made myself an infinite water source block over here. So we can just come and scoop the water out of here. And yeah, a couple of drainries over here and basins. And this is what I was talking about last episode where you can put a faucet on a smelter drain on the other side. You can just right click and right click and then it will pour. Same thing. And I made some casks over here. Go casting bins with casts in them. And yeah. Anyways, let's get to the jetpacks. I bet that's why you guys are here. Ah, 
been talking so much. I should slow down. <sighs> okay. Hmm. Anyways, so let's start by looking at the simply jetpacks. So we say at simply over here, and we're going to start out not of the creative one. Wow, look at that RF. Holy crap, 1.21 G. That's a lot. It must be a giga or something. Anyways, we look we're looking at the Leadstone jetpack over here. And it is four lead ingots of a lever strap, two leadstone thrusters, and a leadstone flux capacitor. Alright, so this is what it will be in the end. I already made one, but I'm just going through the recipe with you guys. I'm gonna make another one for Shade for when he what's that? Oh for when he finally decides to play. Well, actually the game crashes the whole time because of the NEI. Anyway, so this is gonna be the end of that. So first of all, your lever strap, two levers, and iron ingots in the middle, or four levers, uh, leather, around two iron ingots. So there we go. And that shall be placed here. Okay, next up is your flux capacitor. Now you need three redstones, lead, lead, and copper. And this is why I needed the sulfur, is to create the flux capacitor, the leadstone one, which is a small one. And yeah, so let's go ahead and create that one and put it in here, there. Okay, next up is the leadstone thrusters, which is kind of a more uh, complex recipe. I mean, there's in the smart pack, there's a lot of, well, not just the, sp the whole of Minecraft FTB Infinity Evolved. There's a lot of mods in it with a lot more complex recipes than this one. But this one is the starter complex one, I, I think. So you need four lead ingots, two leadstone flux ducts, a redstone, a steam dynamo, and a redstone reception coil. All right, so let's go over here. This is your steam dynamo. It requires two redstone transmission coils, a couple of, or three ingots of copper, and two copper gears. Copper gears, quite easy. Make yourself a stone gear. It's just a uh, stick, 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 stick in a circle. It makes you a wooden one. Place some cobblestone around it. Same with the wooden gear in the center. And you get yourself a stone gear. So let's go ahead and collect all these. And then we will place them. Whoops. Let's get that one out. Like so. Now we have crafted two of these, and this is the almost the end. Let's go ahead and put it in here. And then we have our two leadstones. Then over here, we just plop that one down, plop that one down, and we have our lead jetpack. So let's go chart this one up, and I'll show you some of the recipes you would need, like the redstone reception coil and all that, all that nasty stuff. So... Basically, your steam dynamo, we already did check that out. And um, there was another way of a copper gear, which was the iron ingot of a couple of, or of a bunch of copper ingots surrounding it. Which is, it's all fine and dandy. If you have the iron and copper to spare, you can just go and do it. Or the iron, actually. <coughs> Excuse me. And then, the reception coil, redstone transmission coil, actually, is a silver ingot. You just find yourself a silver ore, melt it down, make it ingots, and then two redstones over there, which is pretty cool. And then you have your redstone reception coil, which is a gold ingot of two redstones. And then you need your redstone flux ducts, which is six redstones, two lead ingots, and any type of glass in the center. And it will give you six. So this is actually worth it to have these. And these... Leadstone floods, flux ducts, I think in the past they were called conduits, they transfer power. So this is pretty cool. And this is the early stages one, the first you can create. So yeah, you have that, place it over there, and you create yourself two of these to make the leadstone jetpack. And then you would have your leadstone thrusters over there, and those. So yeah, basically this guy is not done yet. Why? Why are you not? Oh, there we go. It's just a visual glitch. All right, let's go put it on. Put our stuff on. And let's take flight. 
Oh yeah, this is freaking awesome. Oh man. Oh, finally there's some flight. We can just travel around now and yeah, no, we don't need those noob towers over there anymore. So that is pretty cool. And there's something also I wanted to show you guys. If we go into our minimap, we can see over here, I've done a quite a bit of traveling. I was looking for uh, desert biomes to go and hunt endermen because I really want to go to the end and get some ender pearls to make an enderman farm, ender pearls and whatnot. So yeah, I've been flying all over the place. There's some, and this is a very large village here anyways. So yeah, I've been really, really busy flying around and whatnot. So yeah. Anyways, um, anything else? Anything else? So yeah, maybe next episode we might go into the nether. I need blaze rods and all that for... What was I looking for? The Eye of Ender. So we can go to the end, but the Eye of Ender requires blaze powder. Now we can go and look for cinder pearls in the desert biome. That's one reason why I want to go. And also to hunt the enderman. But there's also from the blaze rods, which you can go ahead and just shape this crafting. Just put it in the crafting grid and it will, like crafting station or whatnot, it'll just give you two blaze powder. But if you put it into a rock crusher, you get multiples uh, with a 25, 25, <coughs> excuse me. Wow, my voice, really? Oh, it's a, <coughs> excuse me, what the hell? 25, 25 and 25% chance that you will get extras. Okay, so yeah, that's what we're going to do next time. So I think this is going to be the end. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode of Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved. If you want to see this on the stream this coming Sunday, make sure you hit that like button to cast your vote. And a game with the most likes equals the most votes will win. That's pretty cool. So I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.